this tutorial, let's look at how we can create some basic formatting without using cascading style sheets. So here we are with a HTML page coded in really HTML 3.2. Uh, this is a mid 90s web page. However, for this example, it's going to work just fine. Um, so I just want to show some uh, some more basic uh, tags, how to create a break, and uh, and I want to use an attribute. So I have this area here between the opening and closing paragraph tags. This, con this uh, contains the name as well as the person's address for a resume that I'm making. And I just made up this name, Wanda Higdon. Uh, it is possible that someone watching this would have the same name. That would be a total coincidence. So you'll notice that this name and the address are both on the same line. Now that's because the strong tag that's being used there is actually um, an inline tag. And inline just means that those tags, such as strong or emphasize in this case, will not create a carriage return. Inline tags are on the, their own line. They don't create a carriage return. But oftentimes you want to have you know, a space in there, a break. So if you want to have a break in your content, you just actually use the break tag. So I create the opening and closing HTML brackets. And this is a standalone tag. You see that every tag we've used so far has had an opening and closing tag, such as the H3 uh, or the paragraph or the body. Here it's standalone. When you create a standalone tag, you just go ahead and have a space and then a forward slash. And um, there's several standalone tags, and those will always use that, um, that forward slash. Now, technically speaking, in HTML5, you do not have to use that anymore. Having uh, that forward slash closing the tags was for XHTML, and but it still works. It still works with HTML5 to do it as we're doing it on line 9. I prefer to do it that way. I think it stands out as a standalone tag. Uh, someone reading the code would see that more easily. Also, it's the way it's been done for so long, so it just makes the code more compatible, backwards compatible. And since it doesn't hurt anything with HTML5, um, then it's fine to do it. Uh, but if you prefer not to use that forward slash, that's fine. Your, your code would still work. Uh, just be consistent in the way that you're approaching your code. Okay, so I have a break. I'll go ahead and show that. It shows it all um, uh, over here, flushed left. But there is a break here between Wanda Higdon and the address. Now, let's say I look at that and I go, uh, you know, that's nice, but I want it to be centered. So there's several ways to center it. Really, you want to use CSS nowadays, but maybe you, for some reason, um, you don't have access to the CSS. You're using a blog or, or, or something like that. So uh, in such a case, we'll go ahead and use the attribute align. Now, notice that the attribute and the attribute values go inside this paragraph um, tag here. They're actually between the opening and closing brackets, and that's where attributes go is inside those tags. Um, so I'll have the attribute name, a line in this case. You have an equal sign say, saying what the attribute equals, and then opening and closing quote. There's um, several values for a line. You can justify left or right or center. I'll go ahead and center. This will make all the text, all the content between the opening and closing paragraph centered. And as you can see here, it did just that. All right. Now um, I'll come back here and I want to point out that it did center everything between the opening and closing paragraph because that's an area right here. Okay. There's many more attributes available in HTML. It's, it's really a crucial part of H HTML, being able to control your content layout and appearance and how your HTML works with those attributes. Uh, there's several um, there's several tags that really don't function without attributes and, and attribute values.